Hello my friend, happy to see you here and in this video we are going to solve this really interesting algebra problem. We need to find the integers x, y and z right here. We have 3 to the x plus 3 to the y plus 3 to the z equal to 837. And in this video I'm going to show you the best method how can we do this, because there are a lot of methods how can we solve these kind of problems, I'm going to show you a really interesting one, really interesting method. But before solving this, let's suppose, let's suppose that x is greater than y or equal than y and y is greater or equal than z. This is our supposition in the beginning, so we will find all solution. Doesn't matter with this supposition, but let's suppose that this is good for us. And then let's factor from this expression, let's factor 3 to the power z. If we factor 3 to the power z, what we have in parentheses? We have 3 to the power x, but not x, x minus z, because we factor in this uh, 3 to the power z, plus 3 to the power y minus z, y minus z, is the same as right here with x, and plus, we have 3 to the power z, we factor 3 to the power z, so plus 1, equal to 837. So this is our first step, we just factor 3 to the power z in our first step. Okay, what we're going to do next? The best way to solve it is to express this 837 in another way. So let's do this. 837, let's divide it. Can we divide it by 3? Of course, because we have a sum 11 plus 7, uh, 18, so it can be divided by 3. So by 3 we divide it, so we have 279. Okay, let's divide it once more, we can divide it by 3, so 3 we have 93, and divided by once more we can do this, and 31. So we can express this 837 in, the, in another way. So take a look, we have 3 to the power z, so the same expression as right here, 3 to the power x minus z, plus 3 to the power y minus z, plus 1, and let's express this 837, we can do this, we can express this as 3 to the power 1, 2, 3, we have 3 cube, times 31, yeah, we have 31, and times 3 cube. This is our expression of 837. And right now, take a look. The best way to solve this kind of expression, if you express this constant on the right as right here, is to look, because we have 3, and we have 3 right here, so it is really good because z equal to 3, this is common solution, this is general solution to our first step. So from first step we have that z equal to equal to 3. So I hope you understand this. We have 3 to the z and 3 to the power 3 is really good because 3 to the power z equal to 3 cube. Because 3 to the power z equal to 3 cube, yeah? And then z equal to 3. This is our first step to our solution. I hope you understand this. And right now, we still get this expression right here in parentheses equal to what number? Of course, equal to 31, because we still had it. In our minds, we just cancel this expression, so we find this 3 to the power uh, z equal to 3, and right now we have this parentheses. So let's rewrite this parentheses 3 to the power x minus z plus 3 to the power y minus z plus 1 equal to 31, yeah? Okay, we have right now this, this expression right here. What are we going to do with it? Take a look closely. Let's bring this one to the right hand side, so we just subtract 1 from both sides, and if we subtract it, we will have like 3 to the power x minus z, so from here we cancel this, right here we have 30, yeah? Plus 3 to the power y minus z, equal to equal to 30. Okay, so this is our expression right now and we need to find our x and y because we know that z equal to 3, yeah? Okay, right now let's suppose that x is greater or equal than y. This is not a supposition, we had it in the beginning that our x is greater or equal than y. Right now, how can we express these this 30, okay? We can express this as, take a look closely, we can express this as x 3 to the power x minus z plus 3 to the power y minus z equal to equal to 3 times 10. Yeah, we can express this 30 as 3 times 10, okay? And right now we need to find what is the bigger power, because x is greater or equal than y, then x minus z will be greater or equal than y minus z. So from this expression let's factor 3 to the power y minus z. Yeah, y minus z. If we factor from here, we will have in this in this first element, we have 3 to the power this element minus this power. 3 to the power x minus z minus, minus y minus z, yeah? But in parentheses. So this is our first number. From here we factor it, so we have plus 1. So plus 1 equal to 3 times 10, okay? Okay. 
Right now, let's simplify this power right here. So we have 3 to the power y minus z, and in parentheses, we will have like 3 to the power x minus z, and with this z, we'll have plus z. So z and z we cancel, so we have x minus y. So 3 to the power x minus y, and plus 1 equal to 3 times 10. Okay, really interesting simplifying step right here because we just cancel our, our z. Okay, I hope you understand my 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 thoughts right here. Okay, right now, take a look closely what we're going to do. We have 3 to the power y minus z and 3 to the power x minus y plus 1. So two elements. So we multiply this one and this one. I take my red pen right here real quick. So we have 3 and we have 3 right here. Right here we have 3 to the power 1 and right here we have y minus z. So 3 to the power so from here. 3 to the power y minus z equal to 3 to the power 1. Yeah, because these elements need to be equal to this one, because we have the same base. And from here we have our first case, I just separate this on both sides, that y minus z equal to 1. So y minus z equal to, equal to 1, okay? And we know that z equal to 3 from here, z equal to 3. So we have like y minus 3 equal to 1, and from here y equal to 4. As you can see, we find our second element in our solution. Okay, right now let's go to these parentheses because we still have these parentheses equal to 10. 3 to the power x minus y plus 1 equal to equal to 10. Real quick solution because right here we subtract by 1. So we have like 3 to the power x minus y equal to 1, 10 minus 1 equal to equal to 9. Let's solve this real quick. This is very obvious uh, exponential equation because we have like 3 to the power x minus y equal to 3 square. Yeah, and from here we have our classic exponential equation, classic solution to this exponential equation. Bases are the same, so we need to compare, we need to solve an equation with our, with our powers. So x minus y equal to equal to 3 no, no, it's really like 2, yeah, and from here we will have like x minus y equal to 4, so x minus 4 equal to 2, and from here x equal to, equal to 6. Okay, we find all solution to our problem, but let's, so, uh, let's write our general answer. It's like our only x, y, and z. But before solving this, we have a supposition. We supposed that x is greater or equal than y, y is greater or equal than z. We had this in the beginning. And right now I wanted to rewrite all our solutions. So x equal to 6, x equal to 6, y equal to 4, y equal to 4, and z equal to, z equal to 3, okay? And z equal to 3 z equal to 3. But this is our supposition in the beginning. So we suppose that this is correct, 6, 4, and 3. But right now, let's write our general answer to this problem. So our answer, answer, the pairs x, y, and z equal to, let's, let's combine all of these solutions. Let's do this. So the first one, 6, 4, 3. So 6, 4, 3. The next one, let's swap x and y, so we have like uh, 6, 3, 4. The next solution, we have like 6, oh, 4, 3, 6, let's go, 4, 6, 3, let's go with this, let's go to the next, 4, 3, 6, okay, let's go 3, 6, 4, and let's go to the last one, 3, 4, 6. Okay, this is our all solution to this problem. Because we have the supposition that x is greater or equal than y and y is greater or equal than z, yeah? But we need to combine all, the, all possible solution because we have like 3 to the power x, 3 to the power x, plus 3 to the power y, plus 3 to the power z. This is solution is correct because we have all the same bases, so it doesn't matter and we have also all addition, so it works in, in, in every of these cases because we have all the same bases, doesn't matter right here we have 3 to the force or right here 3 to the force. If you add it, we will have the same answer. This is my solution to this problem. I hope you understand this explanation, but we can easily, real quick, spend uh, 20 seconds to, to look at it once more. So first of all, First of all, we factor 3 to the power z right here. So, so this 3 to the z equal to 3 to the 3 because we express this uh, number right here. So write it as a product. Second step right here, factoring 3 to the power y minus z. And the last step, the last step right here, we don't need to factor it because we have like a classic exponential equation. So the two main steps right here, this one and this one. 
two main steps right here. How can we solve it? This is my solution to this problem. I hope you understand this explanation. But if you still have any question, write a question into the comment section. I really appreciate it. I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventure. Thank you for your time and have a great day.